But these mystery schools were put in place and the very first ones, according to the Emerald Tablets, were started by Thoth, right? He's known as Dehudi or Jehudi in Africa. And he would use this system of teaching where he would get only adept initiates. In other words, hand-picked people that for whatever reason, he felt they had the privilege, they deserved the privilege of hearing this sacred knowledge and information that he had carried, that had been passed on to him for eons and eons, he says. And so in these classes and schools, it would be uh, philosophy, esoteric wisdom, you know, scientific knowledge, everything from sacred geometry to quantum physics, to understanding the philosophy of the world, understanding higher dimensions, how to travel to dimensions. I mean, we're talking about the most incredible uh, set of information or knowledge that you can get anywhere was in these mystery schools and you had to be handpicked to be able to get in, which Yeshua, we talked about earlier from the Bible, AKA Jesus, was one of these handpicked adept initiates at the age of 12, which is incredible. And then their job was to keep this information and knowledge sacred so it would pass on through time. The problem that we have is, once these quote unquote gods disappeared or left the planet, or, or maybe even some died, uh, the people who were in control of the information and the secrets of these mystery schools began to uh, form, fractalize, and form out these sacred secret societies. And these secret societies like Skull and Crossbones and Illuminati and so forth and so on, you know, there's, there's a million of them. They all realized that, wow, hmm, there is a force that exists, but the force is neutral. It can be good or it can be evil. It's up to the wielder of the knowledge. And they began to realize that if they can wield the knowledge in one direction, they can have an enormous amount of power and control over masses and extreme wealth. And so these secret societies all came out of ancient Egyptian mystery schools. And then they began to utilize the knowledge and the power and the light for darkness because it works both ways. And they still have a heavy grasp on the, the majority of civilization till this very day.